Hi everybody, welcome back to Battlefield 2042 and I tell you what, I didn't think I would be saying a sentence like that. I'm so happy to be back making Battlefield content but in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make portal experiences, how to make your own single and I guess sort of multiplayer modes in portal where you're going to be fighting against bots. Don't click away honestly, I think this could be the best part of Battlefield 2042 and it's worth buying it when it's cheap just for this mode it is really really cool because what we can do is we can fight against bots and have a battlefield like experience on any of the maps with battlefield 2042 and battlefield 1942 maps and battlefield 3 maps and battlefield bad company 2 maps as well so without further ado so we're gonna do if you click on portal okay it's all a bit kind of underwhelming um, and where you would normally go is go to like host and here, these are the experiences that I've created, the servers that I've created. If you like, it's all free as well, none of this is paid for. And then you've got official ones you could play on, and then custom ones that other people have done. And there's the screen where you can enter a code. If someone gives you a code that says, come and play on my experience, you can enter the code and enter it that way. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make your own, your own game mode, your own experience. But to do that, we need to go to the Battlefield website, which is a bit crazy. Don't know why they couldn't have done something in game so let's jump over there now i'll put a link to this in the description below this video and what you need to do is if you log into ea on this website with the same account that you log into battlefield 2042 on your console or on your pc um any experiences you then create will automatically appear in your copy of battlefield 2042 when you go into portal if not what you can do is you you're given a code at the end which you can then enter and that will then load you in um, so if we scroll down we're interested in that bit create something new but if we keep scrolling down you'll see we can modify existing um, uh, experiences and at the bottom this is quite important they're the experiences you've already created so this is where you can go back and you can modify them you can delete them um, or you may well decide actually you know the, the bots are a bit too hard on this or a bit too easy you know change the skill level of the bots or you might want to change the teams super quick to go into but we're going to be making a brand new experience so we're going to click on create something new and to start off with um, basically this is a step-by-step -step process you can see it on the left game mode map rotation details modifiers restrictions rules editor should we wish though we're not going to be going into the rules editor <laughs> don't worry um, so choose game mode so we can go rush conquest or conquest large or in custom we've got tdm vehicle tdm free for all imagine how good these will be for practicing and learning new maps custom conquest air superiority and ground superiority but we're just going to go with nice simple good conquest so we click on conquest and then we go to map rotation now in effect we're creating our own little server here and just like when you're playing battlefield or call of duty you know, you, you play on one map and then it changes to the next one and the next one. So we can put whichever maps we want to into the map rotation. But you don't have to. You can just have one map if you want. But for the purpose of this video, let's say we want to go with... Let's put Orbital on there. Um, and then let's put Battle of the Bulge. And then let's put Africa Harbour. So we've got, I think that's a bad company map, isn't it? Or Battlefield 3 map? Uh, oh, sorry, Arica Harbour. Battle of the Bulge is 1942 and Orbital. Because, again, the maps don't have to be tied to the particular game. We can play with any of the soldiers on any of the maps. That's what makes this so cool. The other thing you could do is, if you wanted, um, say, Orbital to come up again, uh, you could do something like, uh, or Battle of the Bulge to come up again, you could do something like that. So it would go Orbital, Battle of the Bulge, Arica Harbour, back to Battle of the Bulge. Um, like that now when you're in the game as well when you've got admin privileges so when you're the person who's created this you can also go into the options venue and jump to the next map um, so you know you can do it however you like so we'll have we'll have those three game mode details so maximum human players I always put 64 um, this is where you could unlink that and you could have uneven teams even though this is really a single player experience we're, we're doing we still put it up to 64 maximum players because if you put it down to like two you don't get any AI bots coming in um, because the AI bots are replacing the human players. Game time, you know, you can change all this sort of stuff. Uh, and then we move on to gameplay. Friendly fire. So this is where you can change the server if you wish to be a bit more of a hardcore server. This can be very good to make the bots even harder as well. <laughs> you know, if you change up the damage multiplier. Soldier, what happens? You know, are they allowed to go prone? Do they take fall damage? All this sort of stuff. You can change that again. We're just sticking with the default for the purposes of this tutorial. 
uh, you um, vehicles so what's the delay between spawns uh, do vehicles have automatic health regeneration you might be a fan again in a hardcore server they don't once they're hit they're hit user interface again a more hardcore server take the hud off take the compass off no mini maps soldiers aren't allowed to um, change their weapons ai okay so with the ai type put that as pvp don't know why they have pve not quite sure what that does in fact does it tell us here PvP IO will ultimately spawn and can be replaced by human players. PvE IO is a fixed number that cannot be replaced for solo or co-op experiences. All right, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we're going with PvP, and we're just going to whack these numbers up. Again, you could unlink them, and you could have uneven teams. Um, I think there's a, there's a limit of 60 bots, I think. I, I, that's probably to do with... Um, slowing the server down you know that's a lot to think about when the game's got to control 60 bots and then you can change their difficulty uh, default honestly default is pretty good I would stick with um, default on what they do when uh, with with vehicle respawning um, but again I would leave all of this as default apart from going PvP AI and changing to 30 and 30 team so this is where things start to get really interesting so we can have the map default so whichever so like a El Alamein for example will be Battlefield 1942 Stranded will be Battlefield 2042 but we can have whichever soldiers with their relevant classes, weapons and vehicles on whichever map so let's say I want to play as uh, Battlefield 1942 players and we're going to play against Battlefield 2042 players isn't that cool and then we go into the characters um, and then we can choose from 1942 are we playing as the the yanks the america the british or the germans so let's pose the british and then which side i don't think it matters does it on battlefield 1942 no it probably just relates to the call outs in the game you know it'll either be the the russians telling you what to do so you can change that now what you may what i've kind of found is or not found out is that i don't think there's a way when you're in a game to change or even before the game starts to change which team you're on so I don't think you can change, for example, from playing for the 1942 guys to the 2042 team. Um, so what you might find yourself doing is creating two simple scenarios where everything is the same apart from the teams, where you swap the teams around. So you might have one game where uh, one scenario where it's the 1942 players versus the 2042, and the other one would be 2042 versus 1942. Um, so that because I think you always start as team one. Similarly, if it was a 1942 versus 1942, you might have one side as American and the other side as the Russians, or the British, you can do that. Um, but then in a very similar scenario, you would flip it around. So one side would be the, um, the, sorry, the Germans and then the Americans, and then the other one would be Americans and Germans. So you could choose which side you wanted to play as. Um, we can take away some of the classes, specialists, that sort of stuff. Then we've got the weapons. Now, rather oddly, I think, anyway, I think some of these weapons are, are hidden behind um, progress bars, which is a bit crap. I think for, I really think for portal, portal, there should be no, you shouldn't be able to get XP in portal when you create a custom goat mode like this. And it should be, everything should be unlocked. A bit like in Call of Duty when you play um, a private uh, match. Uh, but, you know, we could limit the number of guns that, that, that are available. You can edit the attachments that are available as well edit the um, vehicles that are available and the gadgets that are available as well so there's a good one so you may want to take for example the grappling hook away <laughs> if you wanted to I quite like some of the movement now and then we can click finish so now we put our name in so this could be uh, when you go into the portal it says conquest in the picture but you could put in so you could put conquest Ooh. Um, uh, 1942 versus 2042 bots, uh, versus bots, and this is a test, isn't it? I've done, and then you can put more description. Um, I can't remember the maps we did. Uh, on the maps we did, <laughs> fight as World War Two. Brits against 2042 
specialists. It would be really cool if there was some different uh, call outs, you know, say when you're playing uh, 20, uh, 1942 versus 2042, and then like, um, is it Sundance, the, the lady with the bat suit? Um, when she's flying, if the if the 1942 soldiers went, what the hell's that? Because <laughs> they would, wouldn't be used to it. So then we would create that, and that is now created. Um, and it tells you at the bottom, you know, what's been restricted. So player XP. Um, now, if you wanted to delete the uh, scenario, and this goes for all of them, so you would go into, if you've already created a scenario, you go into modify, and then you come down, and when you get this bit up, you click on the three dots, and then you've got delete experience. There you've got duplicate. So you, you know what I said about um, having one game, basically two scenarios, two experiences that are very, very similar. It's just the teams that start are different, are kind of uh, are, are, are flipped. That's where you would do a duplicate experience. And you could do it very, very, very quickly. Also, if you wanted to give this code out to friends so that you could play together, or if your account that you're creating this on is different to the account you're logged in on your console or your PC, this is where you could create the code. And then you would put that in when you want to play the game. Um, and that is now saved. Um, so we're done. So let's uh, close that. Now, when, when you're going through and changing things, when you're editing things, so if, for example, we go back to um, browse experiences, what we should do now, if we scroll down to the bottom, we should see here right, it was this one. So when we come in and modify, um, and let's say we went to characters and actually we want to start as the Americans now um, you just hit save there and that will then save the difference so there we go so now we've done that what we can do is we can go back to uh, the game so let's jump back into the game let's come out of here I'm not sure how long this takes to update but hopefully fairly quick so if we go on host there we go. Conquest 1942 uh, versus 2042 versus bots test. So we click on host. Um, you can put messages in. Click host server. It's kind of getting everything right now. I can't believe how easy this is and how fast it is as well. And what I'll do is I'll quickly show you sort of the admin powers you have as well. Um, and honestly, this is, I think this is the, the standout bit of 2042, you know, in the same way that. Um, Firestorm was arguably the best bit of uh, Battlefield 5, but unfortunately it was hidden behind, you know, the paywall of having, you know, having to buy Battlefield 5. And I really think, just like um, Firestorm should have been spun off as a free game, I think this should be spun off as a as a free game um, where you can buy map packs. I think, you know, there should be a Battlefield One map pack that you buy for a fiver or a tenner and that gives you all of the battlefield one maps to load in this i also think this is a brilliant way of keeping older maps um alive as well because one of the great tragedies of multiplayer gaming is that when the player base goes the game dies and you can't have that experience ever again you know say you're playing like battlefield 4 you know and you might really love like um uh i forget the names of the of the of the, of the maps in Battlefield 4, I don't know, so like Locker. You know, you'll never again have an experience of playing Locker. Right, let's quickly jump in, and you'll see. Here they all come. <laughs> so, <laughs> we've got all our lovely not in, uh, Battlefield 2042 soldiers. In fact, if I redeploy. There goes a half track. We might even be able to spawn as a Spitfire. I mean, how mental is this? <laughs> so it's a Spitfire going up against a stealth fighter. So he's got lock on missiles. And I've got. Absolutely amazing. This is this is just brilliant. Honestly, I don't know why they haven't made more of this. I think probably because the, you know the multiplayer had such a such a rough launch. Okay, so what we can do, as you can see, we've got admin here, and we could go to restart the map, or we could jump to the next map. We could put a message out to everybody. Stop cheating! But the beauty of playing these, this game mode 
against AI bots. But can we jump into? Uh, I, can't, I can't do the school board. Um, is that there will be no aim bot people? There will no be nobody using um, a radar to see where everybody is. Because bots, you know, they've got high morals. <laughs> they, they won't. Um, they won't use uh, cheating programs. All right, let's get out. Oop. There we go. Look, see, they're all defending, C2. They play the objective as well, the bots. <laughs> How good is that? So there we go. There's my tutorial for creating your own experiences in Battlefield 2042 Portal. It is brilliant. It is fantastic. Please give it a go. If you've bought Battlefield 2042 and you, you, you haven't played it for a while and have never played this, don't be put off by the idea that it's bots. Honestly, I was. I remember when they talked about Battlefield 2042 having bots when, the, when it, before it came out. I was like, that's a joke. Why would anyone want to play with bots? But uh, it is It is so much fun. It is so much fun. Anyway, that's enough from me. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below the description. And of course, I'll see you again soon.